Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop. Welcome back to my channel. I have some really fun, I'll call them stress-free, um, ephemera things that you can make. Quick stuff, because I'm all about doing things in a, quickly. And um, I have a few things here that I wanted to share with y'all. Here is some paper clips that I did up. These are just simple, easy peasy. Uh, all I did was, let me show you here. Let me get some paper clips and do a few up. Let's see, what colors do I wanna use? Um, let's get some bright colors. Should have already had these over here, but anyway, okay. I think these will work. What I did on this is I do not like to do paper clips a whole lot, so uh, I'm always like, oh, I gotta do a paper clip. I need to fix it up cute. So anyway, I just take some little off cuts of your scrapbook paper, and all I did was just uh, literally stapled them on there. And I just took a small piece and folded it, in, folded it in half, like this, and picked out a color. And of course, you need to fold it better than I did. And I'm not a very good folder. Uh, pick out a color that you want to use. Uh, I think I'll go with this orange one. And I'm going to use this little heart here that it's already, it's a bow bunny ephemera. And... I literally just put it in the middle here and stapled it in the middle. And this works really good. I uh, tried it out. Let me show you on a piece of uh, see, works really good. And if you, you know, didn't like the paper clip to show, I mean, not the paper clip to show, the staple, all you would have to do is glue on, so let's cut another piece, is glue on the top piece, okay? So that's just another way to do it. And, you know, you could add some, say if you wanted to add a little eyelash trim or something to kind of brighten it up a little bit, give it a little bit extra pizzazz. Just fold this in half again. Get you, let's see, what do we want to use this time? Let's use this one. I always have to put a little... stain on it, and let me see which paper clip do I want to use, oh, let's see, let's use this one here, this one's a little bit sprung, because what I call them, and they're kind of crazy, and then just staple it in the middle, and then take your eyelash trim, and literally glue that down, you know, with some Fabri-Tac, Fabri-Fix, any glue would work. So see how easy that is, and it works really fantastic. And it's just an easy way to do some paper clips up if you're in a crunch and you have really, you know, need to hurry. All right, here is something else too that I, I did. Um, let's see if I can pull this in a little bit more. I was making these, uh, what I call them is hair clips. I made these really pretty ones about Oh, six months ago. These are actually plastic paper clips that um, they were come with something my daughter gave me. And I made these up and they're gorgeous. Love them. And I put them around in my room and I use them sometimes uh, when I'm putting stuff together. Well, I'm working on a um, winged element type journal that's going to have a lot of butterflies and birds and all that. So I wanted, I had some material here that um, kind of coincides with the book I'm, I'm working on. So I took and I used, I actually was gonna get one of these out, but I forgot. Let me see if I can reach up here and get one. I'll be right back. All right, 
that. So I was out of frame and I made this and hello, y'all didn't see it. So I'm having to make another one. But anyway, didn't this one turn out so, so pretty? And I have all these made to go in my winged element journal. And there again, these are these that are on plastic ones that are just absolutely gorgeous. And I put me some tape down here, some masking tape, so I will try to stay in frame this time. Okay, so I have another um, hair clip. And what I'm going to do is show you how I put this on here. Very easy. These have been made in the past, um, so it's not like something new. But, you know, sometimes seeing something again uh, can kind of just inspire you to do it. So just get you some Fabrifix, Fabri-Tac, uh, whatever your, the glue is that you wanna use. And uh, I actually just had some off cup of some scrapbook paper. Um, these are cut about four inches. And uh, you don't have to cut them this long, but I like to fold it up in here because that way when you put the glue on, it doesn't, you know, stick to uh, eat. I'm gonna put some on the back side too, so that way you can use both sides. So make sure you have a plenty of glue in there to get it to stick. And then you can go ahead and put the paper on the other side. On these here, I actually, um, put paper and material on both sides, and I'm not gonna do that with this because I thought I'm covering up these, this beautiful um, scrap of paper that I'm using, and on the other side, I could do it differently. So, uh, but you know, it's up to you if you want material. Uh, you could definitely just, you could even probably use just material, but this kind of stabilizes it better uh, using a, both. So uh, my suggestion is to use both. And these, you know, kind of like your paper clips, but just another way to hold something in place or just add, you know, something really cool. Um, like I said, mine that um, I made up a while back, I just use them around my room and just hang stuff off of them. You know, some of my um, things that I make. So, I have just recently ordered me yesterday because I got so aggravated with my camera holder or my iPhone holder really um, that I finally broke down and said I'm ordering this I don't know, it's, it's I, Akron I'm not for sure the brand of it but it was recommended and um, something that actually stands up on your on your table to film directly down on um, this I have to you know I have it all kind of crazy things going on here and I've been having a lot of trouble with video and so, and you know, it's just not worth the aggravation. So um, when you get aggravated when you're videoing, then you end up not videoing. Stuff just doesn't turn out too good. All right, so I got both of those on there. And then I wanna put my beautiful material here. And this material that I got, um, me and my mom went out shopping back, I think it was before Christmas. And I got some of those uh, sample upholstery books. I got like three of them. And they had two other ones. And, you know, we were going to go back and get them, and we never did. But the, ma the material out of it is kind of more of a, you know, tapestry, you know, a little bit heavier material, stuff that you would use on um, to make curtains and stuff with. Uh, and so it's really good, and I've used, I've used a lot of it, and it's just gorgeous. So, you know, I've been even trying to give away a little bit of it. All right, so I got that done. It looks beautiful. I'm going to actually use this flower here on it this time for something different because I might use this one in a different journal. I think it's this. This is the setup. So I've got this really pretty applique here that I'm going to put on here. And you basically could put whatever you want to on here. I mean, you know, fix it up the way you want to. But uh, those, the other ones that I had made previously, I mean, I really went crazy on those and just added all kinds of stuff on there. But, um, you know, you don't have to do all that. You can make them simple. You could just use, uh, like on these, all I did was use these little butterflies on there. 
and so they're super cute and fun to make they're easy to do uh, what I'm trying to do is show stress-free crafting if you don't get aggravated with your uh, filming setup and it's stress-free so I got a little eyelash trim I'll stick on there my mother gave me some more of my cream colored eyelash trim that I totally cannot find anywhere they don't you can't find it out and about I, you know I get other colors but never the off-white which is one of my favorite colors I have some white though that I could probably dye but isn't that gorgeous? That turned out so super cute. And see, on this side, you know, let me get something and put it on there. I'm going to show you. Oh, whoops, 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 there we go. Dropped my glue gun. Okay. This stuff keeps spitting out at me. Put the lid on it. If you could only see my cabinet top, you would, I mean, seriously, it's a mess. So, this is my winged journal that I have been working on, and I'm just about through with it. I have done uh, tons of stuff in here, and I will be doing a video on them, showing them to you, but they really turned out super cute. So, let me just show you kind of what I was thinking about. You know, you could just take, say, uh... Let me find a tag in here. Okay, here's a tag. You know, I got this little cute paper clip on there, but if you didn't want to use the paper clip, you could always use one of those. See how cute that that is? And then you can use, it. it's pretty on both sides. So if you need something for both sides, it works really great. You could put it at the top and that works good. And then when you close it up, it kind of peeks out at you. So that's really pretty too. So um, that is one little thing that I made that was really easy, peasy, fun thing to make. And these next things I'm gonna show you are, my mom gave me these little pins and she got these super cheap. You know, she always gets really great deals. Okay, well, I, I was like, she gave me a whole bunch of them and I'm like, what am I gonna do with these? So. I decided to get them out and I'm gonna, you know, do something with them. So what I decided to do was I, I had this one that was, I bought. And it was really super pretty and, um, you know, professional. Well, I made these up and I thought they turned out really pretty. And I used uh, my porch prints, little um, butterfly things on here. And what I did was um, I made, I, printed this on really thin paper because the thicker paper doesn't really um, get on here, doesn't stay on here very well. I used, on um, one of them, I used this puzzle glue that I got from Hobby Lobby, and then this I, I used Glossy Accent. The puzzle glue is not as, um, what do you want to say, shiny, but if you keep applying it, it will get shinier. The, um, Glossy Accent does do better, and I used that on this one. I made, actually, on my video that you didn't see anything, so. Really super cute. These can be pinned on fabric, and, and also, you know, you can pin them on a tag, whatever. They're so, so cute. So, I'm going to do one up and just show you what I did. Uh, my mom gave me this uh, block of sandpaper. So, Mom, I'm using my sandpaper already. I told her, I don't have one of those block things, so she had quite a few of them, and I'm just getting the uh, shine off of that, so whenever I glue that to it, it'll stick really good. Okay, so last time I alcohol inked first, but I thought, why did I do that? Because it's just wasteful. It's not going to show. So I, what I'll do is alcohol ink, you know, around the edges after I'm finished with them. These I haven't done yet. So, like I'll show you um, what I would do is just seriously go around it with some alcohol ink. And the alcohol ink really works good. 
cover up stuff. Uh, you could paint it probably, or even maybe if you had the alcohol ink, um, markers would work. I don't know if I have any of those or not. I can't remember in my stash. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the glossy. No, I'm gonna do the puzzle glue one. So literally all I did was put some on there. Just dollop, just a dollop. And then I took my one inch punch and these butterflies are a little big, but they still looked pretty on there. So I just punched out me. And for some reason, my punch isn't working that good. Uh, it's being ugly. But, and then um, I just went around the edges with my Tim Holtz stain. You know, what would we ever do without this wonderful photo finish or is it photo finish? No, it's finished photo and a uh, walnut stain. I just love it. And then I literally just stuck it on here and kind of pushed it down around the edges, you know, to kind of get it to go on there really good. And then, after that is on there good, I just simply add a little, another dollop on top. Sounds like I'm doing sour cream. But, and then just, you know, you don't have to do this with your fingers, but do it with whatever, you know, even a brush or something. And then you have to let it dry for a while, okay? But see how pretty that is? And that's just gorgeous. And you could probably even put some sparkly stuff on top or, you know, something, um, a little bling, a little um, bead or something. You know, you could add some stuff to it. But that's just another quick, fun project. So, again, um, my Easy Peasy um, paper clips that I made up. I love them. I think they're easy and fun to do. These beautiful um, clips that you can buy these at Hobby Lobby or order them online, Amazon has them. And um, fun thing to do. So my next project, I'm gonna be showing you how I put together these little um, journal, my little scraps that I have left over in my kits. This come from the Winged Element, and this was a stamp, and I just, you know, put things together, and sometimes I sew on them. But you know, use your, use your ephemera to, to put things together. And uh, even when you cut stuff out, this was not together, but I just put it together. This was um, dreams, et cetera, and, you know, I just kind of cut it out to where it all had that on there. But that's a fun thing to do. All right, y'all. Well, thank y'all so much for stopping by, and y'all um, make sure that if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe and um, like, and please share, too. And um, also check me out on Instagram. And Facebook, I have my link uh, tree down below so you can check out all my little different places that I have. Thank y'all so much for watching and y'all have a blessed day.